Okay, so in this question, we're looking for the area between y equals x squared minus 4 and the x-axis from negative 1 to 3. Okay, again, let's get a bit of a visual as to what's going on here. So x squared minus 4 is going to look something like that. Okay, where it's going to go down to negative 4. Then we know it's going to go through the x-axis here at negative 2 and 2. Uh, now, I am looking for the area from negative 1 out to 3. So that's going to be that area plus that area. Now I already know uh, because of the way this is set up here that this is going to be a negative and this is going to be a positive. Okay, That what we're actually going to find here, if we were just to find the antiderivative from here to here, what we're going to end up with here is a, is a value that treats this as a negative and a positive and adds those together. So what I got to do is I got to split that up. So the derivative of my area function is going to be x squared minus 4, which means my area function will be x cubed over 3 minus 4x plus c. And now the area total that I want to find here is going to be the area from negative 1 to 2 plus the area from 2 to 3. But I'm going to want to take the absolute value, and I'll just take the absolute value of everything, because okay, that'll just kind of be my, my standard way of approaching that. And so now, this is going to be the absolute value, and this will be, uh, plugging in 2 into this, will be 8 thirds, okay, minus 8 plus C, minus negative 1 third plus 4 plus C. Okay, so that's just me plugging in my limits. Remember, I'm taking the, uh, the, the limit to the right, evaluating it, and then subtracting it, evaluating the limit to the left, plus the absolute value. Now, if I plug in 3, 3 cubed is going to be 27 over 3 minus 12 plus C minus, and then it's going to be, once again, uh, 8 thirds minus 8 plus C, the absolute value. Okay, and now... Uh, putting these pieces together here, what have we got here? Well, this is going to be the absolute value of 8 thirds minus 8. The C's are going to cancel. Uh, plus 1 third uh, minus 4. And then over here, well, 27 thirds is 9. Minus 12 uh, minus 8 thirds plus 8. Okay, so let's keep going here. 8 thirds 8 thirds plus a third is going to be 9 thirds, which is just 3, uh, minus 8 minus 4 is going to be negative 12, plus, now over here, this is going to be, uh, what do we got here, 9 plus 8 is going to be 17, minus 12 is going to be 5, minus 8 thirds. So 3 minus 12 is going to be negative 9, plus 5 minus 8 thirds. Okay. Well, the absolute value of 9 is going to be, a negative 9 is going to be 9. And I know that, that this is going to be a positive answer, so I can just drop the absolute values. So this is what I've got. So 9 plus 5 is going to be 14 minus 8 thirds. Uh, well, 8 thirds. 8 thirds is going to be 2 and a third. So this is going to be, wait a second. No, 2 and 2, two, and two thirds. So I'm going to get 11 and a third. Oh, but I don't like mixed fractions. So I'm not going to write 11 and a third. I will write 34 thirds unit squared. That's what we want. 